Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I have Ardbeg, five-year-old Wee BC, the newest expression in the core range, priced just under the 10-year-old. I got a bad feeling about that. I'll let you know what I mean when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. Rare to see a five-year age statement on a scotch, especially from a big-name distillery like Ardbeg. Ball at 47.4% ABV. Let's see how this is on the nose. So surprisingly thin and mild as far as the peat's concerned, comparative to other art bags. I get like a paint thinner, magic marker. Um, I contribute that to like a youthful kind of note. You do get some youthfulness in this, obviously at five years old. Nice vanilla in here. A little bit of lemon too. Lemon is kind of a note that I pick up in a lot of art bags, especially the 10 year old. Here is dialed down, but you still kind of just get a little hint of it. There's kind of like a ashiness to this as well. Not super complex on the nose and lower uh, peat influence than I was expecting. Let's go palette. So again, that kind of like youthful, um, paint thinner, metallic kind of note uh, comes through. Lots of heavy notes on the finish, uh, very strong. Again, that peat dialed down in my opinion. Really nice vanilla notes, I get like the dinner mints. I get that note a lot uh, with peated whiskey sometimes. Um, not the mint flavored, but like uh, the dinner mints. They're right here. Maybe a little bit of um, barbecue sauce, very mild, but some sweetness. Lots of sweet notes in here. I do like the sweetness, a little bit like herbal uh, elements to this as well kind of like vegetal almost uh, in character. But this ash note lingers on the finish, drying, um, not my favorite note in this whiskey. Overall, I think the cask influence is a little weak here. I feel like they might have used a couple tired casks, second fill, third fill, fourth fill perhaps, in my opinion. There's not much of that vibrancy that you normally get with Ardbeg. This one really seems toned down, even though they call it the Beastie. It is very wee in uh, small in, in profile and character, uh, in my opinion. When I first cracked this, I thought, you know, it's got some decent notes to it. It's got some good sweetness. But then that, that ashiness uh, just lingered, and it was the only thing I could taste on the finish. The finish is a lot drawn out. It is powerful. Um, 47.4 makes itself known. Um, I just think that Ardbeg, again, you know, the color on this, I did a color thing when I reviewed the, uh, the 19 year old, you can look at it here. Um, just the sherry influence. They say they, they bottle this in with sherry casks and ex bourbon. I mean, they don't color their whiskey. Where's the sherry influence in here? It's very, very minimal. Again, I think they're using older casks. Perhaps a couple uh, first fill ex bourbons, but I feel like the majority of this is second, third, etc. Um, not the beastie I was hoping for. Am I disappointed in this one? Yeah, I think so. I was hoping this could compete with the five year old Octomores. I know those bottles are something special. They do five year old peated whiskey almost to perfection. Not expecting something like that in this, but I was hoping that it would come to a level close enough um, that I would enjoy it more than I'm enjoying this one. It's got some good characteristic to it, but again, just not to the level that I'm expecting from Ardbeg. Um, score wise for me on this one, I'm going 83 out of 100. Now for value, I went out and I purchased this on the secondary market because in my area in Ontario, you know, this is not out yet. Uh, potentially not out until the holiday season or thereafter. Uh, I was talking to a rep in Alberta. They're not expecting it for another month or so. Um, I think it did come out in certain parts of Canada, BC perhaps. Um, but again, didn't want to wait. Wanted the bottle. Paid 120 Canadian dollars for this. Um, that's probably about $40 more than we'll see it for here in Ontario. We pay about $100 for the Art Bag 10. I'm going to score this value wise without the secondary market. I'm still taking off a point and a half for value, bringing this down to 81 and a half out of hundred. Now let's talk pricing. So in the States, you can usually find the Art Bag 10 year old 
45 to 55 dollars uh the wee bc coming in at like 40 to 45 dollars so you know just like almost 10 dollars less that raises a red flag in my opinion um, a bottle that's half the age is almost the same price look out for the rest of the core range including the 10 year old prices to increase i think this is a way of doing it um, it's a marketing strategy you come up with a new expression that's lower you price it where you want the rest of the core range to line up with. Right now it's off versus the 10 year old. I think the 10 year old is gonna go up. I think the uh, Koi of Reckon, I think the Yugadel, all going up. I think the new 19 year old batch two, already seeing a high price increase. Um, so it's unfortunate, I hope I'm wrong about that. Our bag was such a great value. The 10 year old, the Yugi, the Cory, I think are all great values, especially in the United States um, where they're priced very, very reasonably. But in my opinion, expect price hikes for all of those bottles, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Have you tried the Ardbeg Wee Beastie? How do you like it compared to the 10-year-old? I think the 10-year-old is still the uh, poster child for the core range. Sets the bar pretty, pretty high. This one, um, I had a lot of hype for this and it didn't quite deliver for me. Uh, hence the score, decent, but um, not where I expected to score it. So let me know what you think, our big five-year-old Wee BC, have you had it? Uh, have you done it versus a 10-year-old? What's your opinion on the price difference? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support the channel a bit more, check out Patreon, a link down below. You can win some awesome samples. Check out Drink My Bar on the channel. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Cheers.